Hello everyone and happy Monday. I hope you've all had a really nice weekend and life is good for everyone. I know I did. Thanks so much for joining me today as I show you some Christmas decor pieces I've purchased in the last couple of weeks. I'm just so excited to share some of my design plans for the upcoming Christmas 2021 season as well as a project that I'm working on. My plan this year is to create and curate a warm and cozy bed and breakfast style look and feel. In years past, I've always had a lot of Christmas bling and glitter in my decor and loved it, but now it's time for something different that evokes feelings of warmth, comfort, and is very welcoming to all who enter. And whether your home is a mobile home or a mansion, I think we all want it to be a place of respite, peace, and comfort where we always feel safe and loved. The place we can't wait to get home to at the end of the day, our happy place. And when you put it into that perspective, a house, no matter how grand or how humble, is merely just a roof and four walls. What matters is the love that dwells inside it. A happy home equals a happy heart. Don't you agree? Now I'll stop talking and let's get to the fun stuff. Here I'm showing you a photo of a sign that I shared in a video a few weeks ago that I mentioned I had ordered from a wonderful Etsy shop called Denver to Dallas. I was so thrilled when it arrived. It's a 12 inch by 24 inch antiqued design on stretch canvas and I just love it. It was a bit spendy but something I'll treasure for years to come and the sign became my Christmas 2021 design inspiration the moment I laid eyes on it. So let's go in and take a closer look so you can see the detail a little bit better. I just love it. So the next item I purchased at Hobby Lobby was this darling Santa driving a tractor. He was 50% off, which was great, and he's a really pretty good size. He'll be going on my fireplace mantle and we'll get a bit of Mackenzie Child touches prior to placing him there. The two gnome coffee mugs that you are seeing here are from Home Goods, and I just couldn't resist them. They're so cute. Here on the right side of the little mugs are a pair of Christmas giving plates with the tartan plaid bands. I absolutely love these plates and they'll be going on my island in some place settings for Christmas. Next up are these two green satin pillows you see on the left. I found them at Goodwill in pristine, never used condition for just $1.99 each. And they'll be going in my Christmas decor somewhere yet to be determined. In this footage, I have placed my red twall curtains that I purchased a while back just for the Christmas holiday season, along with a red throw to set the stage and give you my color story and design sense for Christmas 2021. Without giving too much away, I will just say that more black accents will be added as well as some McKinsey Child's inspired touches. I purchased several of those curly black and white check clip-on picks at Walmart that you see there on the left and some black velvet ribbon to go with that as well. And then the last thing that I purchased that you're seeing there is that cute little white lantern standing there in front of the Christmas plates. I got two of those at Ikea and they were only like $3.99, which was a great buy. So now let's go in for a closer look so you can see all the details on the things I purchased a little better.
In this footage, I'm showing you the cute little bed and breakfast sign, which I am going to be hanging on this wooden cathedral window that I purchased at Home Goods this summer. And it's going to look beautiful hanging above my fireplace. I can hardly wait to get it done in November and show it to you all. Okay, sweet friends, let's take a look at my project. I have this beautiful piece by Christy Rapassi, who is an amazing artist, and I'm going to remove the canvas painting from the large, beautiful frame and save it. However, the frame is going to get a makeover and become a beautiful Christmas decor piece. The frame is quite large. It's 48 inches by 16 inches, so it's going to be perfect to go above the love seat in my bedroom. The frame is going to be painted in this beautiful Forbidden Red by Bear Paint at Home Depot. The raw wood insert that you see there will be painted in a cream color chalk paint and then I will add something fun to it so stay tuned for that in the next week or so. Alright my lovelies that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul and my upcoming project so please stay tuned to see what I do with it. You all take care, have a great week and I'll see you back here on Friday. Bye-bye.